now, welcome back. Jetpacks. They're the thing of Hollywood sci-fi movies and a future far, far away. Well, that future could be a lot closer than you actually think. Have a look at this, because uh, these were the scenes in London near the River Thames, and uh, there you see it uh, hovering for, I think it was four minutes, uh, over the Thames. Uh, extraordinary, extraordinary sight. Uh, I remember that being in a James Bond film I saw many years ago, and you did a double take uh, even back then, and that's exactly what people have been doing today as they were, uh, yesterday rather, as they were witnessing as uh, it whizzes around. And David Mayman is the pilot that you were seeing in those pictures. Uh, absolutely extraordinary. You're you. uh, the man uh, behind this. Uh, the idea is uh, to crowdsource the next stage of this mm -hmm. development. But uh, we were just looking at this picture. I mean, what is it like? What was that like? It's, it's the end of 10 years of work uh, for me. Uh, 25 or 30 years of work for my design partner, Nelson Tyler, a, a, a genius inventor in America with three Academy Award uh, technical achievements to his name. So to me, it means everything to do this flight uh, in, in London. Like, I mean, we saw those pictures. They're, it's actually they're remarkable. Uh, it, but it's very gentle. It gentle. Is yes, it is. It really is. It's easy. It's gentle. I won't say it's quiet, uh, but it, uh, and it's so intuitive. You know, if you want to fly up, you say, I want to fly up. You know, you just go like this. If you want to fly forward, you lean forward. It's, uh, it's a perfect balanced machine. I'll get you to take me through the jetpack in a moment or two, but it's sure. interesting because the company behind the fundraising or the crowdsourcing was saying, and I'm going to read the quote because it's interesting, this is for the city boys who grew up in the 70s and 80s dreaming of being a real-life Iron Man. Iron Man, now, right. Now, the thing I wanted to ask you, does that include you, apart from being a city does, boy? Does that make me Tony Stark, <laughs> right? Yeah. No, it does. I mean, I've dreamt about it forever, and we're working with Cedars now to, to do a crowdfunding campaign, and, and the reason for crowdfunding is that I think this resonates with everybody. Everybody wants to fly, and everyone wants to be free, and to be able to travel to work or, or to the, the shops without having to sit in traffic. I do. Right, and, and me, in, in Los Angeles, it's a, it's a killer. Come on, let's go over and yep. uh, have, have a look at it, Absolutely. because I want to have a take a, a closer look, because it's an extraordinary thing. Uh, you're going to put it on for us, and uh, yep. once you do, I'm going to have a look uh, behind, but there you see just the fuel tanks, uh, and... I have to say, I've got a huge streak of yellow. Oh, really? So the first thing that you'll, screams you'll, you'll out... You'll be perfect. It's... No, the first thing that screams out is, is the fact that you've got fuel and the dangers of it. I mean, it must be dangerous. Well, it has fuel, but then there's also a bladder, which is a tank. And uh, the tank stops the fuel from leaking. So if there ever was an issue... I'm just looking for this. There we are. <coughs> If there was ever a, an issue, if you fell over or something when you were taking off, the bladder would actually and stop the fuel. And how much fuel is, it, uh, is in those tanks? 36 litres, so that's like nine, uh, nine gallons or, or thereabouts. Uh, well, so it's, it's, it's not it's too heavy. Turn around so the cameras can, can, can see that. It's, it's really light, you know. <laughs> and in terms of controlling it, we, we saw you sort of whizzing around mm -hmm. uh, over the Thames. How easy is to control? You said when you want to go up, it's intuitive, you go up. Just, just take me through. You've got the control okay. panel there. So here, here, here's up. Okay, this is up and down like right. a, so you like just a twist. motorcycle. You just twist. And it becomes completely intuitive, just like you're riding a motorcycle. And what, speed on this side? Uh, this is actually spinning. Right. So if you want to spin, this one, very, very simple. And you don't even think about it. Now, if I want to go forward, this is a beautiful thing. All I do is lean forward. If I want to go backwards, all I do is lean backwards. If I want to roll sideways, all I do is lean. You don't think about it. A and how many test flights have you actually now completed? I've personally done over 400 on over this 400. one. Over 400? Yeah, I'm training two new people. Then. And we were talking about the dangers earlier, but mm. most of them, am I right in saying they're, they're mostly done over water? And over the Thames, we saw that again. And uh, I think we're seeing uh, pictures on our screens at the moment uh, over New York. I mean, yes. there it is. Yep. Uh, so you're deliberately doing this over water, what, presumably because of the risks? Exactly. At the moment, we're, we're developing a, a parachute system, and the reason that we're raising money on Cedars, and anyone can get involved for even £10, uh, is to build that parachute system. So even at a very low level, if you had a problem, you would have a parachute, you would land sa uh, safely. Now, you're trying to get to the next stage, a yes. sort of electric version mm -hmm. of this. I mean, you may think that's only a few years away, but w what are the uses for it? What, what are you hoping this ultimately... So this ends up. This version. Who, who uses it basically? This version that, that you use uh, with your with you know you stand on is very useful for military, and we have a contract with the U.S. military for the use of this version JB10. 
The future concept, so it, it's really to dem this is to demonstrate we have the engineering prowess to build something that in the end would be a commuter craft. And that's not something that you stand with. So that's okay. not sci-fi. You, you no. are thinking we're working, that people well, we're, can move around cities, towns, yeah. start or something design. like this. Yes. How far away? I, I would say it's, it's 10 to 15 years. Because, and, and not because of the tech, but because the regulators need to catch up with the technology. Yeah, so how do we I mean, they're even struggling with drones. So right. I mean, what are they going to make something like this? Yes, exactly. So once they get their head around the drones, then we'll be starting to do demonstrations, and then they'll get their heads around this, and eventually we'll be able to travel like this. But does the fact that you're crowdsourcing this suggest that actually commercially it's not particularly viable? I mean, why haven't you got companies backing, we, big backing already we, behind we, it? We started that way and we did. We, we've got some big companies involved, but what we want to do is open it to the masses because we have so many fans, so many people that love the concept. We said, well, get involved. Get involved for £10. I'd rather have 2,000 shareholders that love it, you know, investors that love us and push us forward. Uh, than you know, one or two large VC companies. It's absolutely amazing. Just uh, we're going to play the pictures again because uh, it is such an extraordinary uh, so sight. I mean, in terms of uh, an ordinary person, you think within a couple of years we're going to have a chance of using one of these things? Yes. So, w w would you need a flying lesson? You would. You couldn't we just buy one and go out. Could no, you? of course. We'd, we'd we'd give one to two weeks training, uh, flying lessons. One to two weeks, and then yeah. you're hovering above the Thames. Yep, like that fly like that because they're stable it's inherently stable it has two turbine engines well, you know, I might buy one I've always wanted to be taller I reckon I could hover an extra foot above the ground and I've sorted it you're on the list <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, thank you so much for coming in and bringing your pleasure. jet pack uh, we've run out of time pleasure. thanks very much we'll uh, we will again. be back in a moment or two with the next edition of global don't go away